place sensors on your subject's transverse abdominis left and right side. Then their obliques left and right. Follow our recommended muscle placement sites. Show your subject how to perform a maximal voluntary contraction of their transverse abdominis by standing tummy vacuum using Mr. EMG Biofeedback. Now record your subject performing three maximal voluntary contractions of their transverse abdominis. Ensure you take a picture of each activity so you have an image to match your data. Show your subject how to perform an abdominal brace contraction of their obliques by standing functional bracing using Mr. EMG Biofeedback. You may need to push your fingers into their waistline and instruct them to push their obliques against your fingertips. Now record your subject performing three maximal voluntary contractions of their obliques. Ensure you take a picture of each activity so you have an image to match your data. Now record the transverse and oblique muscle activity of your subject's natural walking gait. Compare this muscle activity during walking gait to maximal voluntary contractions to assess if any hyperactivity or inactivity is present in the abdominal muscles. Provide advice on postural positions or active engagement if required, such as sucking in the stomach or actively bracing, asking your subject to walk again and measure if there is an improvement. Show your subject the resulting EMG data recording of recommended movement changes. Now test your subject's abdominal muscle output performing exercises, starting with four point transverse abdominus engagement, followed by side bridges, left, and right, prone hold, and curl ups. Now record abdominal muscle activity performing activities of your choice to assess muscle engagement. We will complete our data gathering for the subject while performing other dynamic exercises using gym equipment. Here are some examples. One arm dumbbell rows, oblique twists using a cable, finishing with cardio on a ski erg. The exercises you test are entirely up to you, the clinician, and what you would deem most appropriate for each subject based on their symptoms. To conclude the assessment, we recommend you sit down with your subject and analyse their data, identifying any muscle hyperactivity or inactivity during movements you feel is related to their symptoms. We hope you enjoy using Mr EMG.